In the Bible, we really do have something remarkable. We have the words of God himself. But I find that many of us find it pretty difficult reading the Bible because to be honest, we don't quite know where to start. It may be that you're someone who's just started investigating Christianity, but you're interested enough to have got a Bible and opened it up. It may be the small print or the sheer size of the book. It may be the cultural distance between us and the world of the Bible. But you've actually found all these things, obstacles that you weren't able to get over and so you put the Bible down again. Or you may be someone who's been long to church and heard the Bible explained or you've enjoyed being part of a Bible study group. But when you've gone home and got hold of the Bible and started to read it for yourself, it's been a different matter. But don't despair. Reading the Bible doesn't have to be that hard. I've written this little book, Read This First, to help people like us to get started. See, the great news is you don't need to be an expert, you don't need a theology degree, you don't even need a special set of skills to read the Bible. What you do need is an open mind, the humility to ask for God's help, and then the stickability to read what the words actually say on the page and to keep reading. Because God promises that when we do that, He will make what He's saying to us clear. So I encourage you to start by reading this first so that you can then go back to the Bible with a new sense of direction and confidence. And yes, reading the Bible can be hard work, but the payoff is enormous. Because when we read the words of the Bible, we get to hear the words of the living God himself speaking to us personally. And that's what I'd encourage you to do.